Hi, my name is Susan Crossman and I'm a Toronto-based corporate communications copywriter focused on creating documents that build reputations and inspire commitment. I can sure sympathize with American journalist Gene Fowler when he said that writing was easy. You just stare at a piece of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Amen. I've spent many a sullen afternoon nursing cups of cooling coffee because the words stayed belligerently away. And why? In my case, it's usually because information underload had a date with low motivation. When I solve one, the other one generally falls into place. I don't have a perfect set of solutions for dealing with the problem, but here are my quick fixes. These are the things that I try when I have writer's block. Number one. Revisit the research and figure out what's missing. A well-researched document should almost write itself. If you have enough information, you're in good shape. If you've been a little bit lazy, you might not have enough information to get the job done. Number two, prioritize the information. Some of it is more important than others, but if it all seems pretty much the same, then maybe you haven't thought enough about what it is you're writing and what the relative value of each different piece of information is. Number three. Why are you writing this document? Be clear on what this piece of information, what this document is supposed to do for you or your audience, and you can tackle it with more conviction. Number four. Give yourself a deadline with teeth. A document that has to be written sometime this month is a friendly task, utterly lacking in urgency. Put it on your calendar with a specific day and time as a deadline on it, and you'll be better able to tack. Finally, number five, give yourself a consequence for non-completion or a promised treat for success. I know it sounds childish, but my subconscious mind will drag its heels and play with gum wrappers in order to keep me from writing. Sometimes the antidote is to give myself a penalty for not finishing, no checking emails until I'm done, for example, or a promised treat if I'm successful. For me, that might be 20 minutes with a friend on Skype. I don't know what our friend Mr. Fowler did to ease the strain of writer's block, but if you've got some ideas, I'm always looking for new ways to keep the train of thought on track. And if you'd like more information on how I can apply my writing experience to your goals and objectives, I invite you to visit my website at www.crossmancommunications.com. And write well.